Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome again to SE Ranking. This is a tool that I've been using a lot recently and I wanted to share with you some of the ways I've been using it. Before I start though, I'd like to say that I'll leave an affiliate link in the description of this website. So if you're interested in this tool after watching this video, you can use that link to get a 14 day free trial. So, without further ado, let's talk about the subject of today's video. That is how to use SE Ranking for you to audit your website. A website audit is very helpful. It will give you a lot of on-page SEO tips, essentially. Um, so, that is very helpful. After you've added your website as a project, and if you didn't watch my other video, you can basically just click on this create project and you just follow this this wizard it's fairly easy um, you could also watch my other video if you want to see me walk you through that in more detail but then after it's added as a project you can either access it here when you're in in the projects tab it's just at the bottom all of the websites you've added or you can go here on the left hand side you can choose the project you would like to look at I'm going to look at this text in and because we're looking at website audit you just go down to website audit and overview so you can see that this will give you a lot of really helpful information you can restart the audit and this will basically update the information you can download this audit you can send it to someone via email um, I really like this health score here and again, like with the other things in SE ranking, they have a lot of really good tool tips. If you hover over the, the, the tool tips, it will give a really detailed explanation of each of these, these functions, which is really helpful. But this health score is really good because it's like an over, overview of the health of your website. And if you go down here, you can see there's an option that says, cruel comparison and this will show you over time each time that you update this audit then obviously it will show you how each of these items has improved increased or decreased it's a really good way for you to keep a detailed check on how your website is developing and you see it's got a lot of information here and each time you re run an audit it will update this and it's very easy for you to see how your score has changed so that's really helpful if we go back to the overview you can see it has all of the the top issues here so if you were to go into view all you could then use this page to see all of the various issues um, when you see a green tick that means it's fine then you don't need to worry about that thing obviously you can click into each of these and you can read a more detailed information but yeah when you start seeing things like this orange one or a blue one th these are the things you need to have a look at and it will obviously show in red what the issue is and it even explain how to fix it so this is really helpful you could basically go through this and fix any issues and you see there's quite a lot of various issues here duplicate content no trailing slashes okay so yeah I mean once you have run through all of these with your website um, you know that's going to be a very good way for you to make sure everything is on point Maybe this website is not the best example because you can see it already has a very high health score. But um, yeah, I really like how it explains everything and how to fix everything in detail, which is very good. Okay, so if we go back to the overview screen, um, you can see that it will also show you some overviews of your backlinks referring domains things like that it will show you the number of pages that are indexed and that aren't indexed and i believe if you click on this it will take you into a more detailed thing here that will show you everything that's indexed it shows you any 
any warnings or errors for any of these index pages which is good one of the other things I do also really like is that you can very easily see the the click depth of your website because this is very important I in all of my websites I, I like to keep the click depth um, as low as possible because then it it basically makes your website a lot easier for Google to scan everything a lot faster and especially with a smaller website it means that they're able to do this more often and to get more information out of your website so this is really helpful it basically shows the the click depth of your pages um, so that if you have any that's over over two then I would hi highly recommend that you uh, that you update that okay so I think that's almost everything the only other thing to show obviously it will show you the the response time which is very helpful these days it it will at some point populate more information here about the core web vitals but you can't really do that right now because I only literally only recently added this website it also shows you if there's any websites that are orphaned or a dead end page and if you don't know what that is you just hover over it and it will explain this is uh, also very handy because you don't want to have lots of orphan pages on your websites right um, there's also this helpful thing down here the page changes monitor so this is really handy if you're working on a website with a a team right you can basically add various pages from your your website into this this monitoring tool and it will show you any time that there is like a on page change which is really helpful because maybe someone else in your team has altered something on the page and you didn't realize and you can obviously see here so that if someone has accidentally changed something incorrectly then it's a good way for you to highlight that here okay so um, found links this is also helpful found links it shows you all of the internal and external links on your websites so this is very good if you want to organize your internal linking it shows them all here and it also shows your external links out and it shows the 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 blog post you know or the page that it has come from so yeah you can see that that when you have a website audit on SE ranking it will give you a lot of information and it's a matter of just working through all of this obviously fixing all of the issues and you should find that your website will rank higher on Google so thank you for watching this video I hope you found it helpful I am gonna try to do more videos on SE ranking because like I've said recently I'm using this a lot more these days so, so so I want to show you some of the main ways that I'm using it in my online business. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.